Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hope you're all doing well today. I am your host as always, Donald the 100 AK the Experter, and welcome to the second installment of the X-Cast, aka the audio log that I'll be doing on a regular basis. But apart from, I'm not alone this time around, no, in fact I've actually invited two really good mates to come along with me. I've got a fellow member of the Expert Strategies that I've known for a really long time, Lunchbox5. Hi there. And my buddy that obviously I've met from university, who also has his own YouTube channel, which I will put in the description below, and also let him have, uh, have his few seconds of fame to uh, enlighten you guys about on the later on. Only a few. No. You're not uh, it's James Cox, aka Freak Show. Hello. There you go. And yes, he is indeed British. Hey, that was one second. Where's your second? <laughs> Whatever. So yeah, today we're going to be chatting about some random shit. So without further ado, let's get let's get Rudy Poo, I guess. Right. Starting things off, League of Legends stuff. There's been something really bad happening on the North American servers this week round. You mean you're a British man that plays on North America? <gasps> yeah, he's such a traitor. Sorry. <laughs> It's not my fault, I've only got like a level 8 account on the UK and then these guys, these guys told me Oh, you just don't totally play with us in the US And well, because no one else show you the game Well, you know? yeah And since Yeah, and so I've been playing with them ever since So I've got a level 30 guy with basically all the characters nearly unlocked with a butt ton of skins on the US server <laughs> and a level 8 guy in the UK server but only has Twisted Fate unlocked it's because, it's because uh, English people are better at the game than American people. Oh, so right, right. Dom, Dom wanted the easy way out and so he was like, oh, if I go on American servers, I'll get a lot more wins. So that is his reasons for not nah. playing. Nah. I'm pretty sure that Dom said the reason he, like, he told me when he left that he didn't want to stay on that server because they all had stupid builds. Like a Cho'Gath that went uh, probably an AD Cho'Gath. No, no, yeah. no, it was worse than that. You had a Cho Gaff that was going 100% pure support. Ah. Uh, and. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I've seen people that can pull off support Cho Gaff, but this was a support Cho Gaff who had no runes, no masteries, and no understanding of how the game works whatsoever. Well, I'd like to point out it's Europe. It's a Europe thing, so you're yeah. most, like, most likely a Russian player, maybe. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, so I do not now, understand so your pathetic excuse server. for League of Legends champion. All I understand is simple use of vodka and shot glass. Pretty much. That is the basic understanding of that. So, the issues were, I'm not sure whether it's been happening on the EU servers or on the Asia servers. It probably wouldn't have happened on the Asian servers since they're so much better than everyone else. But, uh. Um, Korean. I know, right? Uh, but for the US servers this week, this, like, they brought in the recent patch that changed a few things, mostly aesthetic touches as well as um, changing the prices of pots in in game as well, which was uh, quite cool. Uh, yeah, the patch apparently didn't come across too well because a massive error occurred, which then caused logging in times to be incredible, causing well, people to lose rune pages, runes and champions that they had owned, as well as losing the chance to purchase certain champions, certain champion skins, and also losing the ability to purchase certain runes and, uh, and boosts as well. So basically screwed over the US server. Yeah, that was fun to watch, having an hour queue. Or just five hour queue. No, that, that was terrible, right? But like, literally, the first day of the patch coming in, and I think it was, I think it was actually just after the event they had at, um, was it uh, was it DreamHack? Yeah, DreamHack. Oh, yeah, DreamHack. Just after that, what ended up occurring was 
patch comes through, everyone's like, yay, new patch. Then we see the login time, and it's like averaging out to be like four to five hours just to log in. It was absolutely chaotic. But the most Sounds time, like you want to join the Europe servers, to be honest. <laughs> I'm to, sorry, be honest just to be honest saying. with you, there was a part of me during that time was just thinking, fuck this, go to EU. <laughs> But then you realised, oh wait, I'm just a level 8. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, I have a mate, one of my housemates, who got into LOL, and she kept teaming up with me, and I was on my level 30 account, and obviously she just kept getting raped. But, uh, so I made a new account to team up with her, and it's the most fun I've had in the game in ages, just rolling a new account, like not worrying about skins or anything, just always using the free to use champions and just getting a feel for everyone rather than constantly using who you best of at the time. And yeah, it was just so it was it was a nice obviously I've gone back to my little 30 account now, but it was it was a nice break from just constantly using the best builds of the time kind of thing. That's yeah. fair. Like don't get me wrong, I will I will more than happily go to the EU servers, I mean North American servers and go back and forth depending on who's on. It's just for in like most of the people that I know who play it in the EU servers don't want to play it when I want to play it. So it's like, yeah, most of the time I'm on the US <laughs> because I can just pass the time. Whilst if I'm on the EU, I would generally want to play with people that I know. If you know what I mean. No. No. No one knows what you mean. Okay. True. Okay, that's absolutely fair. Then I'll just be a no lifer. That is, that is absolutely fine. Uh, but I yeah. Think, uh, I, have the queues gone down since then, though? Yeah, they have. Um, like, they released a announcement on the actual North American forum uh, about the issue, going into more detail about it, and um, basically stated that it was a framework issue upon the patch going live. Uh, they tested it out in the test realms, and it, and it worked absolutely... It worked fine. But as soon as they made it live, there was a massive framework issue, and so they they were basically on it non-stop to try and resolve the issue. And as the days went on, it went from four to five hours to two hours to just over an hour, and now there's barely any time. If you any. probably got a lot of RP or IP from that though, didn't you? Oh, they have did you? Give us IP boost for that. Well, they did. Yeah, they did. Oh yeah, of course they did. They gave, gave us 10 wins. I think to Europe got that as well. I was wondering what we got that for, because we hadn't had any problems. So I think well, we got a boost for your problem. <laughs> you I know, right? For our problems. So, Sounds about right. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. America, no, the people that fail and let everyone else America. bring the benefits. Uh, you guys got a boost from our problems. That's how it works. That's how it works. We enjoy your problems and we reap the rewards as well. That is how it works indeed, right. So yeah, that's that's basically all the really big shit coming out of League of Legends at least this week anyway. Nothing, well, nothing else Ezreal really big. Coming out, that new oh yeah, Ezreal. Iron Man Ezreal! It looks Why are people amazing, calling him Iron Man? but I'm not, not gonna pay 20 quid for a skin. That's the price of a computer game. Oh yeah, of course. Cool. Uh, this is for... Sale, see, this is their problem. Is ridiculous. Yeah, see, this is the but problem. But it's also their best skin they've ever made. Well, here's the problem though. It's a legendary skin, so I can understand them upon it first being released being a certain amount more than the other skins. But surely, in time, they should just bring it down or have like a legendary skin sale where they have set skins on sale for the normal price of standard skins. That would that would bring in more revenue, at least in my opinion, instead of just keeping it at how much is it? It's like 18. When it comes out, it's going to be half price, so a tenner. But then um, all the normal price of a uh, what is it, 1,800 RP for a that normal way. expensive skin. But um, but yeah, when it when the sale ends, it's going to be 3,200, I think, or 300, 3,600. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be 1,800. I'm pretty sure to start with. See, I personally think that's nuts, and they should mm, they should think about it a little bit more, but you no. Know, you know, we'll see. But we'll see what happens in it's the a end. Video game creator. Who wants to think? Well, yeah, exactly. You don't think, you just make. Uh, well, you satisfy the people that you're basically making the game for, I guess. So, well, we'll see. Eventually, we might see it come down in sale. 
And if it does come down in price, I'm going to be on bet. <laughs> I'm going to be so on it. But yeah, looking forward to that skin. And uh, apart from that, there's nothing really else about League of Legends, is there? No, no, no really big shit. So, moving on! Uh, well, actually. Oh, here we go. About their skins. You know, there are several things I would like done instead of just like making all these legendary skins. It's more of redoing the old ones. Like Soraka. Soraka really needs a new skin. And oh, a redo. Yeah. Like, hasn't, like... She, she was, like, one of the original champions. And, yeah, yep. her her skins, quite frankly, are bad for what they are. Yeah. Um, the, the artwork is... Eh, and needs an update. Her texture, to be honest, needs an update in comparison yeah. <laughs> to Gangplank and... In fact, with that, recent, with that recent patch, there was actually kind of like a little texture glitch, uh, there still is, where she turns purple. Yeah. Her jacket like goes red, purple, red, purple, red, purple. Yeah, again, that could be that could be hinting towards a potential skin for Suwaka in the future, being a uh, Suwaka and the Technicolor Dreamcoat. Yeah, that's we could we could be look. Yeah, that's yeah. We understand now. That's why it's planned. They're, they're doing that skin for Suwaka. It's cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I understand what you want about like there are people like Suwaka, um, Eve, definitely, um, Rise to an extent. Um, Rise has got a good new skin, that, um, the red one with the big crystal on his back. I don't think he needs a new one. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. Mostly, I'm mostly thinking just like, uh, do up the artwork on his original, on like his normal skin. The person who needs the most drastic skin update is Trundle because his two skins are just rubbish and he, he's such an amazing champion and his basic skin looks really good but his two um, bought skins are just ridiculous. To be honest with you, in game they are lacking. I, I think a good skin idea for him would be um, cured Trung Trundle so you see how he would look if he didn't have the infection of his whole tribe. That would That'd be, cool. be a good idea, actually. That would be a good idea. Hey, Riot Game people that are probably not watching this video but are tuning in anyway, <laughs> make that happen. That's for plus for this video. Another skin I, I want to see is, um, this is the, the British man inside talking, is uh, Tra Trafalgar Square Swain. So you see, you get Nelson's column, because he's got the sword rather than the staff. It's the same pose as Swain anyway. And then he turns into a pigeon. <laughs> he turns into a pigeon. Okay. I'm gonna poopy on everyone's head, especially exactly. you. Fetch especially. <laughs> no, you should have it in such a way, then, so that that skin is kind of intertwined with Galio. So that if he attacks Galio, he just goes, uh, "Eat some of this, duty <laughs> or something like that. Since Galio is like a he stone drops. gargoyle. Yeah. <laughs> like it has an ability called like drop crap. Droppings. <laughs> Bombs away. Fish and chip droppings. Yeah, exactly. Something crazy like that. That'd be hilarious. But yeah, that's fair. See, that's great. I mean, that idea for a skin. Like, I have an idea for a skin for Mundo. I know Mundo has tons of skins anyway. But there's one skin I really want to see him have. And it's Kentucky Fried Mundo. Mundo in a KFC outfit throwing chicken sticks at people instead of a butcher's knife. Isn't that what Dark Light keeps going on about? Basically, yeah. He keeps calling them chicken sticks. That that is basically it. Yes. <laughs> Isn't there a bride of Mundo skin coming out, or is that just some fan art I saw? A bride Mundo? What? It's, it's, oh, he's is Mundo in a bride's outfit, and he throws a bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> I, think that might I don't. Be I don't know if that is official. I or think not. it might be. Yeah, it might have just been fan art then, but it looked amazing. It was just his veins popping out from the sides of this bride's dress. That, uh, to they, be they, honest, they that just that sounds skin. amazing. For that skin. Oh yeah, that that sounds amazing. Uh, and I will say that now, actually, if anyone watching this actually does have any ideas for champion skins or have any views on uh, champions in general in League of Legends, where they want a retexture or a complete overhaul, like uh, they did with like Ash and Gangplank and people like that, uh, simply put it in the comment section below. By all means, it'd be great to see what uh, you guys have to say on the matter. Um, anything else about League of Legends before we move on, or uh, are we all pretty content about 
what's been covered. No, I'm very unconvinced.